Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I will be doing a full face makeup tutorial for ya. The look I'll be creating is what I'm wearing today. I will be doing everything from my foundation to my eyeshadow to my eyebrows, everything. So a couple videos ago I did have a request from a subscriber to do a review on these two Chanel eyeshadow palettes. So the first one is the Tissy Rivoli and the other one is the Poisy. So um, I will be using both of these in my tutorial today. I will also be doing a separate video where I do an entire review on these two eyeshadow quads. Um, so that will kind of be like the sister to this video. But anyways, I will link that in the comment section down below. Lily, stop scratching, honey. Sit down. You're making too much noise. Sit down. Sit down. Stop walking around. Your little pitter patter paws. Your little pitter patter paws. What? Please lay down or I'm going to kick you out. Come here. Get out. You're making too much noise. Get out. This will be the very first time I am doing a 100% voice over entire full face tutorial. So I hope that it comes out okay. I'm still kind of learning how all of that works. So I apologize if it's a little bit shaky. Um, but if you are interested to see how you can get the look that I'm wearing today, then just keep watching. I will insert that for you right now. First thing I like to do is pull my hair back, get it out of my face. It just makes it a little bit easier to apply makeup when there's no hair in your face. The first product I'll be using today is the First Aid Beauty Eye Duty Triple Remedy Cream. This is like a makeup and a skincare item all in one. You can see it's a little bit peachy salmon undertoned which really helps to control the blue under eye circles that I have. But the best part about it is this little applicator that's on the tube itself. It's metal and it cools your under eyes. So you can see I'm rubbing it in with that little applicator there. Once that's all done, I blend it in with my beauty blender, a damp beauty blender. The next product I'll be using today is the NARS Smudge Proof Eyeshadow Base. I haven't quite used this enough to give a true opinion on it, but so far I'm liking it. It helps keep my eyeshadow in all day. I kind of have slightly oily eyelids, so this has helped to help my eyeshadow from not creasing and helps it last all day. The next product I'll be using is the Benefit Professional. I've talked about this before. I am obsessed with this primer. Um, I like to just dot it on the areas of my face where I'm trying to control some of the pores. I don't have crazy pores, but occasionally my pores are looking kind of big. So I like to dot it on my cheeks, my nose, my chin, and my forehead, and then rub it in with my hands. Uh, then I wanted to put some uh, lip balm on. My lips were feeling extra chapped today, so just put a little lip balm on before I completed anything else. And the next product I'll be using is the Laura Mercier Silk Cream Foundation. I love this stuff, especially for fall and winter. It is a pretty full coverage foundation, but it's a cream foundation, so it's nice and thick and moisturizing. I like to just dot it on my face with my beauty blender and then blend it in with the beauty blender. I did make a whole video kind of talking about how I use the beauty blender with this foundation, so I'll link that in the description box down below, but I really love this specific foundation. It keeps my skin fairly matte all day long, helps to control the shine, and it just leaves a really pretty finish behind. Next I'm going to use my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. I love this as an under eye concealer. It's one of the best ones that I have. So I know I used the eye cream a little bit earlier, but this is just to give extra coverage if you're feeling extra under eye. <laughs> today. So I went ahead and just dotted it on and then again used my damp beauty blender to blend it in. That same video that I talk about for my foundation, I also talk about how to apply concealer. So check that out if you haven't already. Next, I'm going to go in with my Makeup Forever HD Setting Powder. This is the loose version. I love this stuff. You can use it to set both your under eyes and your foundation. It works like a charm. It does not believe it does not leave behind the white cast that some translucent powders do. This one doesn't. Um, so I really like it. I'm applying it to my under eyes with the Sephora Pro Airbrush Concealer Brush number 57. And then I'm applying it to my face with the Sephora 
Pro All Over Powder Brush number 61. These are two of my favorite brushes to apply my makeup. Next, I'm gonna go in and do my eyebrows. So I have been absolutely loving the Hourglass Arch Brow Pencil. This one is in the color blonde. This makes it so stinking easy to apply your eyebrow makeup. I struggle with eyebrows. I've talked to you guys about that before. So I'm not gonna show my entire application here just because it's not very good. But basically what I do is I outline my eyebrows and then I go in and I fill them in. And then I use the other side of the brush the spoolie side to kind of brush out my eyebrows um, just to kind of disperse the makeup a little bit more. This eyebrow pencil actually makes it very easy for me. It's not that little tiny skinny eyebrow pencil that a lot of people like. It actually has a flat top. It's kind of a bigger flatter top which makes it so much easier for me so I really really like this eyebrow pencil. All right, now it's time for eyeshadows. So I'm using two different eyeshadow palettes in this video. The first one is the Chanel uh, Tissy Rivoli, and the second one is the Chanel Poisy palette. So the first color that I'm going to use is from the Tissy Rivoli palette. It's kind of like this copperish, kind of goldy color. So I'm applying that with a Sigma E55 brush, the eyeshadow shading brush, and I'm just applying that all over my lid. Next I'm using another color from the Rivoli palette. This is like that kind of cinnamon sugar grownish Brownish, <laughs> grayish brownish color, and I'm applying that with a MAC 217 brush to the crease of my eyes. Next, I'm going to go in with a Sigma E40 tapered blending brush just to blend everything out. This color is on the dark side and it does have glitter flecks in it, so it's always a good idea to blend to make sure you're not leaving behind any harsh lines. Next, I'm going to go into the Posy palette and use the dark grayish brown color in there. I'm applying that with my Chanel number no. 19 blending brush just to the outer one third of my eye. I like to do this just to add an intensifying color, kind of brighten my eyes, gives a slight cat eye effect. It's kind of like an outer V application without actually applying outer V makeup. Then I'm gonna go back in with that Sigma E40 tapered blending brush just to blend everything out one last time. This darker color, it gets a little messy sometimes, so it's always a good idea to blend it out. Next, I'm going to go in with the Marabella blending brush into the color on the Posy palette, the pinkish kind of shimmery color, to apply to the inner corner of my eye. This really brightens everything up, <laughs> brightens everything up, makes you look more awake. Next, I'm going to go in with that same brush to the highlighting color in the Rivoli palette. Now, this is not sparkly. It's actually pretty matte, kind of satin, but I like to apply this up to my brow bone just to blend everything out one last time. Then I'm going to go back to that sparkly color from the Rivoli palette using a MAC 219 brush. This is a pencil brush, just to apply that to my lower lash line. Then I'm going to go back to my Chanel number no. 19 brush, not adding any more product, but just kind of blending my upper lid to my lower lid, just to give it that final smoky effect. Now I'm going to go back in with my Beauty Blender, not adding any more product, but this is kind of a trick that I use to blend everything out and clean up those lines. Now I'm going to go in with my Urban Decay 24-7 Eyeliner Pencil in the color Zero. This is just a black eyeliner pencil, one of my favorites. I have used this for years, years and years, probably 10 years. Not this specific one, but <laughs> this eyeliner product I've used for years. This is just a really, really intense, kind of gel-like pencil liner. I apply this to my upper lid, and then I'm going to go in after I apply that with a Sephora Pro Smudge number no. 11 brush just to smudge it out. The best thing about this eyeliner is it doesn't dry right away, so it gives you the flexibility to go in and smudge it out if that's something you want to do. 
You guys have seen me smudge my eyeliner before. This is a trick that I love to do. It makes it so you don't have to be super duper precise when you're applying your eyeliner. You can just kind of go back, smoke it out, make that line less intense, uh, make it more daytime appropriate, I suppose, and then clean up any of the rough edges that you left behind with your eyeliner pencil. Next, I'm going to go back in with that same eyeliner and line my lower waterline. Now, I know you're not supposed to tug at your, uh, your eyelids. It might give you wrinkles, so I'm actually trying really hard not to tug as much. Um, but if you want to get right up in your waterline, you do kind of have to pull a little bit. Next, I'm going to go in and curl my eyelashes. So this is a Sephora eyelash curler. Nothing fancy, nothing special. After I curl my eyelashes, I'm going to go in with the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. I am obsessed with this mascara. You guys have heard me talk about it before. It's just the best mascara I have ever found. It gives your lashes length. It gives them volume. It lasts all day. It doesn't flake. It's just... It's awesome. <laughs> the hourglass shape to the brush makes it really easy to apply to both your bottom and upper and lower Ooh. <laughs> lashes. So here I'm applying two coats to both. Next, I'm going to go in with my Bobbi Brown Bronzing Powder. This is an awesome bronzer, one of my favorites, actually. It's just a nice matte golden bronzer. It's not too orange. It's not too yellow. It's just kind of like the perfect color for my fair skin. This wasn't. This one is in the color Golden Light Number 1. So I am applying that with a Sigma Duo Fiber F50 brush. I like to apply it to the kind of corner of the brush to give myself a nice contour line. Then I go back in and buff it out afterwards. Next it's time for blush. So today I will be using the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Blush Palette. This is new for the holidays. I just recently bought this. I was trying to decide what colors I wanted to use and I decided upon two. I couldn't pick just one. So I am using the Mood Exposure and the Luminous Flush. So I will be applying the Mood Exposure with a Sigma F40 large angled contour blush brush woo, <laughs> to my cheekbone, so up to the back of my hairline. Then I go back with Luminous Flush and apply it to the apples of my cheeks. Final step is lipstick. This is the Bite Beauty Lipstick in the color Fig. Guys, I am obsessed with Bite Beauty lipsticks now. This is my only one, but I just really love it. The texture of it is kind of like butter. It's very moisturizing and I'm just obsessed. This color is perfect for everyday neutral look. All right guys, well that is all that I have for you today. Thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you next time. Bye.